What's up, YouTube? We're back with another episode of What the Hell Am I Doing? Today, I've got a really cool explorer for you guys. I got a place that's been sold to developers for $16.5 million. It's a late 80s mansion. The place I'm talking about is this monster right here behind me. I think this one's gonna absolutely blow your minds. So let's get in there and see if we can figure out what happened to this place. Okay, everybody, we're gonna start today's adventure out front, right at the front gate of the property here. I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of check out outside and then work our way into this absolutely beautiful, massive mansion that we found here. Look at this place. It's just ridiculous. Can you believe this place sold for $16.5 million and they're just going to demolish it? I'm here with Noah Nowhere today. If you guys haven't heard of him, please check out his channel. His uh, link will be in the description. But this is the driveway, walking up towards the house. It's absolutely ridiculous. I gotta show you this gate here. Look at that. And if you look over the gate, the fencing goes all the way to the road. Like, <laughs> I'm impressed. And what's also cool, they got a massive satellite dish out there. So at one point in time, you know, they had some good TV. But yeah, this is a place we're checking out today. It's an absolute monster built in the late 80s. Has that look on the outside. I expect when we get inside, it's also gonna have that look. Property is absolutely huge. You can see why they sold it for 16 and a half million. It's got a beautiful, beautiful wood fence on this side. You can see gardens were all around, especially out front here. Amazing. Wow. So there's two garages on each, one on each side of the house, which is pretty wild. Beautiful interlock driveway. Something you'd see a lot of in the 80s as well. But man, this house, it's a monster. There's even a balcony out front there from upstairs. Like, that's really wild. What a cool spot. I would love to come out there for cigars or for coffee. So over here, it looks like they've already fenced off the property a bit for the development. There's a garage in the greenhouse. I believe that's part of the property here. So we'll check that out. <laughs> it's a crazy house, guys. I think this one's going to be really wild when we get in it. Some rope left behind. It's a fairly windy day, but I'm using my new mic, so everything should sound perfect. I hope. It's a crazy place. I mean, it really is. So that's to get into the garage. That's a cool exhaust. So obviously they had some stoves or fireplaces in the basement. That's a cool little area here. You can see some bad design work has caused the brick to suck up moisture and break though as it freezes. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is cool. Okay, so they got some wooden stuff down here, but another big AC unit. I've already seen two AC units here. Those are neat. Wow. Oh, they, you know what they are? They're for making wine or beer. So they were doing their own their own brewing or something. I like how they have double doors into the basement. That's very cool. You got a picnic table under here. You know, it's a very peaceful spot. It's on the side of the house. It's underneath the deck. Nice shaded area. I like this. 
course, there's an entrance to the basement there. I don't think we saw this room. Oh, <laughs> as I almost fall over pushing it open. All right, so we have another room here. It's a cool little fire pit. Yeah, it looks like a storage room or another kind of sunroom. As you can see, they had window panes up there at one point. They covered them over. Beautiful room, though. Another great spot I would hang out. Beautiful. Of course, they kept all, some of their outside stuff in here. Makes sense, obviously. Cool room. Again, that's looking towards the garage we were in over there. And that's that picnic table. We had another big garden here as you came outside. A really big property though. Let's just go out this way and check out the front yard a bit. So now we're in the area where the satellite dish is. There it is over there. We got another entrance into the house and it looks like we got a nice big sunroom on the corner here. Pretty cool. Very, very cool. And of course that takes us there along to the front of the house where we started the video over there. That's pretty wild. So while we work our way over to this garage and greenhouse, let's see what we got in there. So it looks like they had a dog kennel. That's pretty wild. Fully fenced in, yeah. They had dogs or something. I'm not sure if that's a dog kennel or not. I think it is. So this is the garage here. Let's see what's inside. It's big, very big garage. So this house act, oh, look at that. They have heaters up there. That's pretty cool. You don't see that in houses very often. So technically this place has six garage spots all together. Is that an old tub up there? Yes, it is. Let's turn the light on. There we go. That helps. Yeah, so you got an old tub up there. That's pretty cool. But yeah, there's another big garage here. Interesting. So they had enough space for at least six vehicles in this place. Although, it also looks like they kept the animals or something in here. Hmm. Maybe this wasn't a garage. Like looking back here, this was definitely for animals. Wow. No idea what they could have kept in here. I mean, look at this. That's crazy. You guys tell me in the comments, what do you think they had staying in here? All right, so let's go out here. Wow. This looks like a greenhouse type of room. Definitely. Well, and this is the greenhouse here. Pretty cool. September 22, so 
Perhaps this place was abandoned in 22. That would kind of make sense. So it's kind of raining and snowing outside while we're inside the greenhouse here. That's pretty cool. This is the most intact abandoned greenhouse I've ever seen. It's very cool. It's crappy outside, but it's not bothering us at all, is it? Wow. And if you go to the end over there, it's getting a little blocked, but it just goes back outside. It's pretty cool. All right, well, why don't we work our way back through this and get over to the house and get inside and see what we can figure out about this place. See what they left behind. I think today's explore is gonna be really, really cool. I think this is gonna be an awesome one to show you guys. So, I think that's what we're gonna do now. Just make sure I didn't miss anything. Oh, I can see there's some carcasses in there. What the heck happened in here? Can we get in? No. You see there's some bird carcasses and everything in there. Multiple. Crazy. What's out here? And the snow stopped again. There's a lot of space out here. Look at this. Yeah, they obviously had some kind of farm or something going on here. Like they had other animals, maybe pigs, chickens. You guys will have to tell me. <laughs> I'm not going in there. I could barely bend over that far. But yeah, I think that's enough out here. I think it's time we work our way inside. What do you think? Is that a chicken coop or what? Guys, tell me. But yeah, we should work our way inside now and see what we can figure out about this place. Because I think we're gonna be in for a really crazy explore today. And I really can't wait to get inside to show it to you. All right, so we're back outside. There we are. So there's the house there. One last look from outside. There's no out front showing off. Let's not dilly dally anymore. Let's get in there and see what we can figure out about this place. Okay guys, we're gonna start this one just inside the front doors. I think you're gonna be absolutely blown away by this place. Right away when we go inside this foyer, you're gonna just be absolutely shocked. It's hard to believe that a place like this is gonna sit abandoned and eventually be demolished. Take a look inside here. <laughs> Just wow, look at that stairwell right away. The staircase, I mean. It's absolutely impressive. We've got beautiful granite floors here. This place is absolutely beautiful, but look at that front door. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. It's stunning, it's a beauty. They have the etched glass just inside the door here in the lobby, or the foyer, I should say. But yeah, when we go out here, just a grand staircase going all the way upstairs. It just looks incredible here. Now they do have some stuff left behind, I see. Looks like they got an old rug, not a Persian rug. And we got some blankets, looks like purses, suitcases, maps, some basic belongings left behind, but not much to see. Just pan around though, so you guys can see, this is where we came in right here, the front doors. They even have nice etched doors on the inside here. It's really cool. So I'm here with Noah today, so we'll try to stay out of his way. We'll just kind of work our way through the house, I guess. So the hallway here kind of goes in both directions. We'll just start this way first. And it looks like we're in some kind of a lawn or a uh, family room or living room space. It's a big empty space. Only thing in here really is a ladder. But they've got beautiful curtains on the front windows here. Absolutely nice. 
very typical of a place that was built around the late 80s. I believe this place is a late 80s home. Seems to have the wood trim and the uh, tile choices of a home from that time. That's beautiful. Got a nice medallion in the hallway there. And I'm also noticing as I look up, they've got beautiful crown royal or crown molding, <laughs> not crown royal. They got crown molding going around the entire hallway here. Just show you this real quick. Very nice. Very nice. And again, the stairs are beautiful too. But the hallway goes two directions, like I mentioned. It goes this way. And it goes this way. So we'll go this way first. We'll just kind of work our way around. Again, they've got nice late 80s, early 90s style tiling throughout the house. I actually had tile like this in the house I grew up in that was built in 88. So it's not surprising to me to see this type of tiling. It's a very blue room. Okay, so this is another entrance to the house. This goes out to the driveway. Interesting. So then we'll go back in this way. What we got over here? Looks like we have an office. It's got nice floors in here. Oh yeah, it is like an office. They have a desk and everything. What I'm noticing right away though, looks like they have marble uh, ledges on the windows, which is pretty cool. And the desk is pretty generic. It's nothing too fancy. What do we got here? Oh, that's pretty cool. So we got an old sewing machine just sitting here. That's cool. That's an older one. We also have intercoms throughout the house. These are very reminiscent of the intercoms that I grew up with. So these are like 880s, late 80s intercoms. And that door is locked because it's an elevator. <laughs> Interesting, there's an elevator in this house. I wonder why. I wonder if somebody needed it. Okay, we'll continue this way. Okay, so this is the uh, family room, I would believe. It's got a nice big fireplace. Look at that beautiful stone fireplace. I like that a lot. It's got the fans to circulate the heat. Oh, they had an eagle here or something, or a hawk or something. I don't know if that's a hawk or an eagle, to be honest with you. Somebody took the head off of it. <laughs> Beautiful room, though. Beautiful wood wainscoting going around. Look at that. Nice windows going outside to a deck there that goes around the outside of the house. It's a nice big room. Floors are absolutely beautiful. I love the floors in here. Very nice. And of course, they have another medallion in this room. It's kind of crazy. Fancy ones in this house. So I guess over here, you would have the dining space, perhaps. Oh, wow. This room is grand. Look at this. Wow. Those windows are absolutely massive. The curtains are just amazing to look at. This is a beautiful room. Imagine that chandelier being lit up in here. Be a great room. We have a single chair left behind. Just pan around so you guys can see the whole effect of the room. Of course, if you look upstairs, you got a nice balcony looking down from the second floor. You got a beautiful chandelier, which is still brand new. Very cool. So if I go forward here, this takes us to the kitchen. And if I go this way, this takes us back out to the front hallway that we started at. As you can see, the front doors are up there. So we'll go this way first before we check out the kitchen. Again, another medallion, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, okay, so we've got a nice bathroom here. Toilets kind of used. That's a very modern looking toilet though, I'll tell you that. But look at this. 
Look at this vanity. Very, very cool. And they got a fancy light in the bathroom too. Wow. And then over here, I guess, is the laundry room. Oh, wow, that's a cool sink. Okay, yeah, so this is like a laundry room or something. So we got another entrance or exit to the house. Very similar to the one that we came in on the, or saw on the other side of the house over there. And you've got the alarm panel here, showing all the different rooms. And again, the tiling in here is very reminiscent of the late 80s, early 90s. I'll just kind of pan around and show you guys what's here. That's cool. What's this? <laughs> Speaking of Crown Royal earlier. Fairly modern looking cabinetry in this room. Even down here. I guess this is a closet if I open this. Yes, it is. Still have some equipment in there for the security system. But look at this. Okay, so the washing machine is gone. That is an amazing laundry room sink, though. That is a big stainless steel beauty. I would love one of those. You got those 80s cabinets here. I'm assuming everything in this house will be empty. Yeah. I'm assuming this goes out to a garage. Yeah, it's a big garage. Let's take a look. So you got some fake plants and wreaths hanging still. Always Christmas stuff left behind. You got a calendar on the wall for 2002. Look at the electrical stuff for this house, though. This doesn't look like a house. <laughs> this looks like something you'd find in a mall. That's insane. All right, let's go back inside. That's a cool railing going upstairs, though. Wow, I can't believe the electrical stuff looks like that. So we'll go this way now. Very cool. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. What a beautiful sunroom. This is unreal. You gotta be kidding me. They even have like a, a kitchen area out here which is really cool if you ask me. Look at this. It's stunning. And it's spotless, of course. You even left the cutting boards behind. That's really beautiful though. They still have the air conditioner and they even have a nice KitchenAid, uh, what is that, an oven? Yeah, a little micro uh, uh, toaster oven or convection oven. Wow. Yeah, sink over here. I like how they put the backsplash onto the tile. That's really cool too. Yes, yeah, I think at some point this actually was the back of the house. As you can see, there's windows, there's coining in the brick. There even looks like there's a hanger to dry stuff on. But then I guess they built a patio or this awesome sunroom or whatever this became. And this is what you have now. It's amazing. Looks like at one point they had a stove out here too. Look at the pine ceiling though, guys. It's amazing. This is absolutely beautiful. Can you believe that this beautiful space is gonna be demolished? Look at the heating. Oh, look at that. I didn't even notice that. That's insane. They had some serious heat out here. 
Wow, this would have been an amazing spot to come out for dinner, breakfast, cigars, whatever. Hosting guests. I mean, the tree's still semi-alive. That's interesting. Wow. So this goes outside. I guess we'll check that out in a second. And this here goes back into the kitchen, which we'll check out. I, can't, I just can't believe that. <laughs> I gotta look at that again. Have you guys ever seen something like this on a house before? You know, lying up there looking down on us. I like that little corner vase nook there. Yeah, see that was an outdoor intercom. That's an outdoor intercom unit there. So this was outdoor at one point before they built it in. So this is the patio on the back side of the house. Look at that table they left behind. And there's the doors we were looking at before. Look at this property, it's absolutely massive. You can understand why it's been purchased and will be redeveloped. $16 million I heard this sold for. Absolutely crazy. Let's go back inside. Just gonna close this door. All right. All right, so let's go into the kitchen here. Again, before we go in, I gotta show you guys the coining in the brick. I mean, it's modern, but it's very cool. Very cool what they did with this backspace here. So the kitchen's a little bit gutted, but you can see it was an elegant kitchen for its time. Got a beautiful chandelier in the kitchen by the table. I believe these are cherry wood cabinets. Those are very nice too. Obviously at some point they had a counter out here, but what's cool is they've renovated the kitchen more recently, probably in the 90s. You've got the original 80s tiling there. And as you can see, they've got a different type of granite right over top of it. And if you look around, yeah, everything's kind of taken out of here. The cabinetry here is more modern looking. It's a nice backsplash. That's a nice hood too that they had over the oven. I like this corner over here with the built-in wall unit, another wolf unit. We've seen one of these in the castle mansion. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. I know the wolf units are very expensive. So it's surprising to see that left behind. Some of their stuff's been left behind too. It's very cool. I like the storage they have up here too. Big, beautiful kitchen. Oh, look at that. The whole table's granite, even the legs. That's kind of bizarre. Wow. Oh, look at that. There's the main intercom unit. I've never seen one like this before. This one actually has tape in it. How's it eject? Uh, wow. That is so cool. I've mentioned a few times I grew up in intercom, but nothing like that. All right, so that's pretty much the kitchen here. It's kind of gutted, unfortunately, but still a very cool kitchen. And of course, from the kitchen, we come back out to this amazing dining space here that I showed you guys earlier. Wow, eh? All right. I guess next we'll work our way upstairs. That's the whole first floor, I believe. Look at these stairs. Another beautiful chandelier with a nice medallion up there. We'll take a look at that when we get to the top. I like how the stairs go two ways. You got this little landing here. You 
you can either go this way or this way. Very cool. Again, the flooring up here is very nice hardwood flooring. And as I look around up here, the crown molding theme of the hallway continues. That's very nice. More medallions too. And this is the railing you can see from the dining space. This is the view looking down. Look at that. That's a beautiful chandelier. We'll look up at the light. Uh, it's got a nice medallion there too. What a crazy hallway though, eh guys? Can you imagine living here? Can you believe this place is getting torn down? So this is one of the bedrooms. It's an interesting green color. Those are a bit retro looking curtains actually, to be honest with you. They look kind of like 60s or 70s curtains. Those patterns. It's an interesting room, not too big, nothing too fancy. It's got a closet there and that's about it. It's a nice wood color intercom, never seen one of those before. I guess we'll go across to this side. We still have a bed left in this one. Oh wow, so that's an interesting light. I like that light for the bedroom. Again, this bedroom has the same kind of curtains. Orange colored room though. Look at that bed, that's an old bed. That's like a 60s or 70s bed. The paneling, the patterns, <laughs> kind of matches the curtains they chose. That's interesting. Is this an orange color? Actually, I don't think this is orange. Oh, it kind of is, it's hard to tell. The light's kind of changing the color for me, so. Actually, no, it's not orange. I don't know what color that is. I'm having a hard time describing it. It's like a rosy color, but not. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, the closet's kind of big in this room, I like that. So I guess we'll go around this way, where we have here a linen's closet, probably. Looks like it. Over here, we got something else. Just another regular closet. Man, this, this, this stair area here is really nice. Just take a look at this. It really is amazing. We got another alarm panel to alarm the alarm up here. That's a cool chest. We'll take a look at that in a second. This is another big room. The curtains again are kind of old looking. Maybe old people lived here. Older people. Doesn't look like the kind of stuff you'd put in this house as a starter. The floors are very nice too. Oh look, this room's huge. So this room's got an ensuite bathroom. Looks like as you go this way, you got a couple of closets. Let's see. Oh wow. That's a really deep closet. That's cool. And this one's probably puny. Yeah, so that's probably the man's closet. <laughs> and we go in here. And we definitely have a bit of a retro looking bathroom, but wow. It's an interesting one. Look at that toilet. Like, what is that? It's, it's a power toilet. It's got an automatic flush, I guess. Somebody's used it, but not, not the brown bomber. And they got a bidet here. But they like made a seat cover for it, I guess, so you don't fall the way in. I should ask Noah about that while we're here. See if he understands what's going on here. But look at this tile. Like, it's an older tile. It's like an 80s tile. It's got some graphics in it though. Interesting curtains, I mean, they match the room. That's a cool light. But what I really like, 
they got the soap holders on the wall again. And they kind of got the uh, 80s style cabinetry and sink and everything. I like how this bathroom's kind of stuck into, whoa, what's this? Oh. This is interesting. Wow. It's an Oceana unit. I have no idea what this is. This is like a personal uh, jacuzzi, it looks like. I don't know what this is. <laughs> you guys know what this is. Tell me in the comments. This thing is pretty cool. Looks like even the seat has water jets. Wow. That's really neat. This is the shower here. Interestingly, they have a door and a shower curtain. <laughs> And they have a half decent shower head in there and some very retro tiling and grip tape on the floor so you don't fall. I think these were definitely elderly people who lived here for sure. Do they have the infrared lights? No, they don't, but they have an interesting light in this bathroom too. It's kind of cool. Oh, I just noticed the tile has a border going around. <laughs> Everything in here is very dated looking. It's very cool. All right, let's leave this room. Let's check out this chest. master closet it says and there's nothing in it except interesting dated looking lining interesting but that's a cool unit I like that all right let's continue forward obviously they had a hard time getting something out of the room when they moved <laughs> just cut a notch in the ceiling and get it out again that chandelier very nice looks like someone's damaged it unfortunately I'll walk around this way you guys, so you guys get the full effect of up here. A lot of flies by the window here. It's a cool little look at it. It actually has a door it opens. So I'm not going to go out there. It looks a little rough, but uh, you can see it's a very cool little lookout. I would hang out there if I lived here. But again, this, this is an amazing hallway up here. It's absolutely huge. The banister for the stairs is just amazing. Everything up here is just, wow, beautiful. So we got another big room here. Maybe this was the master or maybe the other was the master. I'm not sure. I like those lights or whatever those are. Those are cool. Again, they got some very glamorous curtains in here. Yeah, those are very cool lights. They kind of remind me of 50s type of decorations almost. And over here we have the bathroom. This is an interesting looking one. Look at this. Wow. Now the clean toilet. The brown bomber has not been here. We got an interesting black tile, but look at the artwork in the tile. That's pretty cool. That's a very interesting light. So this room would look very cool lit up, I think. Red, I like that, red shutters on the windows. And a very red mirror. And that vanity is very cool too. And again, this very cool soap holders are in this room as well. I like this, this is a very cool bathroom. I wouldn't normally pick black tile, but it works in this room. Look at that. Curtain's even cool looking. I like how they have the light, the pot lights in there and everything. But the swans or whatever's flying, the geese or the swans, very cool. Definitely a nice touch to have that on the, uh, on the tiles. It's an interesting looking tub. I like the handles too. It's a very cool bathroom. Very, very cool. I like that a lot. A little eccentric, I think you would describe this room. And I guess this is the closet here. Yep. Yeah. Not too much left behind. And we come back around to the room we checked out first, basically. I'm assuming there's another bathroom here. Yeah, we'll check this out. Oh, we already did. Yeah, this is the bathroom of the jacuzzi. Actually, no, we didn't check this out. <laughs> I'm going crazy, guys. I'm sorry. This house is so big, I'm getting lost. It's a pretty cool looking jacuzzi. 
Look at those handles. Wow. Oh, wow. And they got some art in the tiles again. Look at this one. And that one, too. I tell you, that was probably not cheap. I don't know if it's tacky or not, but... <laughs> oh, it's even over here. Look at that. I mean, it's not my style, but I get it. It's fancy. People are trying to show off. And again, another bathroom with a really fancy vanity. That's beautiful. Even the light. Light's pretty fancy. And we got yet another toilet that's uh, kind of modern. Well, modern at the time. And it's for interesting looking bidet. Look at those handles. They're so weird. Bidet's everywhere. No one must love this place. And there you go. Noah's saying, get yourself a bidet. And this is wild. This is the elevator room here. I like how it's all polished stainless steel. And you got the original brick and window from the house that was on the outside. But here's the metal door. I'm sure you can't get in. No, it doesn't want to open. Can't get in there. But that's the elevator access there. Very strange that they have that. I would love to know, know, know why. I'm assuming it's probably because of an elderly person. Yeah, Noah thinks it's 100%. That's the window looking outside there. It's getting windy out. All right, let's work our way down to the basement, and I think we're going to wrap this one up. This has been a cool place, guys. It's a little empty, but uh, very cool to see. Look at these stairs. Look at that. All right, let's go downstairs, see what we can find. The front doors are so cool here. All right, so I believe this takes us to the basement right here. Oh, it's finished. Look at the stairs going down. Are you kidding me? Look at this railing. Oh, it's a nice breeze down here. Wow, that's a big bar. This is a huge basement. But before we go anywhere further, I gotta show you the stairs going down. Like, look at that railing. This is to the basement. That's absolutely wild. Okay, so we'll check out this room first since it's right in front of us. It looks like it's the furnace room. They finished the furnace room. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you got tile floors in the furnace room. I've never seen anything like that before. This is like a cold room type space. Not a whole lot to see in here. Those are cool basement windows. I like those. You can see out to the gate there at the front. So the paneling down here is kind of eh. I'm not a big fan of the fake wood paneling. It's all right. It's a basement. It looks a little better than the typical 70s stuff. Oh, over here is like a kitchen. That's cool. Okay, we'll go this way first. So they were building. There's something in here. I don't know what they were building. Building, took it out. Maybe they took it out. That's a good point. There's a sauna. There's doors out there. It's a wood for the sauna if you look. So Noah says that was a sauna. And he's right. Yep, there it is. So the sauna's gone. This is a dated looking bathroom too. Probably dates back to when they built the house. Typical insert shower. That's a typical looking 80s toilet with pee dribbles all over the seat. <laughs> and then you got some very typical looking tile. I like that seashell sink though. That's not so typical. That's cool. But the cabinetry, yeah, very typical, except it's brand new looking. 
nice window. But yeah, that's crazy. All the wood that's left over from the sauna is on the floor here. So at one point, this room would have been very, very cool. Now it's just another disappointment. I'm sorry. <laughs> so coming back out here. Here's your sauna doors. See, get the one here and get the one there. Yeah, so there's the sauna doors. Yeah, so that one there, I guess right there was a cedar closet. So that's what that door is. And then like not Noah was pointing out, there's the door for the sauna. Bunch of stuff on the floor, I guess they ripped out of here or just left behind. Nothing really too cool except for that vase. That's neat. The window's broken over there at all. So that's that. This is interesting. I don't know what this is. It's a weird Easter decoration, it looks like. I tell you, if aliens came down to Earth and saw some of the stuff we do, they would think we were weird. So let's check out this basement uh, kitchen. This is kind of cool. I don't know if they rented this or not down here, but so there's some interesting old kitchen stuff down here. Look at this. This stuff is obviously not modern like anything else in this house. This is very old, going back to like 70s, maybe early 80s. The cabinetry here obviously is very suitable for when the house would have been made. It looks very typical. Very nice oven though, they left behind. Maytag gas oven. Even that hood, I don't think I've ever seen a range hood out of this type of cabinetry before. Very wild. But yeah, everything down here is very dated. It looks very, very late 80s at most. Very not typical. Another intercom. Some more cabinetry here. Of course, that's towards the stairs we came down. That's really an unbelievable railing on a stair, stairwell coming to the basement. That's just crazy. Oh, they got a safe in here. That's cool. Got to have a safe if you got a big house like this. Over here, they got some interesting double doors. Looks like they just go outside. That looks like it might be plastic. Yeah. Might be glass. I don't know. Yeah, it's just a little foyer to the basement. That's cool. Look at that. They even have a floor drain. Wow. Is that what this is? Yeah. And they've got some shoes and stuff left behind. Milk bones. Very interesting. And what's over here? Oh, they got some more stuff left behind here, too. Even got the dog collar. Is that a dog collar or a belt? No, I think that's a belt. But that's interesting. I've never seen anything like this in a house before. That's cool. You know you're rich, when? So over here, it's not a fireplace area, but they had a big stove at some point in time. That's pretty cool. I like the brickwork here. I like how everything's kind of left still. Would have been a nice spot to have a stove. It would have heated this place up really nice. Really nice. Nice open space like this, would have loved that. Absolutely. Absolutely, the stove would have been cheaper. And over here, we got that bar I was showing you guys when we first came down. Look at this, it's a little dated looking, but it's still cool. I like that. I like how they have the copper and the wood there. Got a wine rack or a liquor rack. That's very cool. I like how they have mirrors in the shelving here. Nice wood, really nice bar. Over here, they got a fridge. Pretty cool. I did not, but we'll look at that in a sec. Of course, there's a Christmas decoration left behind by the bar sink. And Noah's saying the ceiling's red, so let, oh yeah. I know you're colorblind, you might not see it. Oh, I see that. You get a special with the glasses. Yeah, that's really nice, I like that a lot. Wow, it's a cool bar. I like it a lot. And I think that's gonna wrap, oh wait, did we go down here? No, there's a lot more down there. Okay, we're not gonna wrap it up here. We still got a little more to see, let's go this way. So this looks like it's the laundry room. That's a cool sink. 
God, I like the cool big uh, laundry room sinks, just like upstairs. The elevator goes down in here. What's this go to? This is the second garage. Oh, there's another garage. Mm -hmm. They got lots of storage baskets. Oh, wow, they do have another garage. Look at this, guys. And there's a freezer. <laughs> wow. This is a massive garage. Look at that. That obviously goes to the elevator. Yeah. Is this open? There's the elevator. So that's the door we just walked by downstairs a second ago. But look at this. This is the elevator. A little dated looking, but it's cool. Look at that. Wow. Imagine having an elevator in your house. The water heater's still here. So is the piping. This is crazy. I didn't even know there was a second garage. This is nuts. Wow. And it's got a heater you didn't hear too, a gas heater unit. This is cool. <laughs> when you're so rich, you need a refrigeration unit for your food. Yeah, it's like going to KFC, really. But this is really cool. I gotta point this out as we go back down. Just all the baskets and weird things that are sitting here. Very, very cool. Yeah, this house is surprising, isn't it, guys? Can you believe they're tearing this down? I can believe that it. it's $16 million. So this must be the elevator here. Yep. So over here then we have a, uh, another bathroom. Not a bathroom, this is just a washroom, sorry. It's just a toilet. Wood paneling and a nice medicine cabinet, nothing too fancy. Although they left the towels behind. And over here, we have the uh, water treatment room. And that's pretty much all there is there. So now, I think that's gonna wrap this one up. This was a really wild explore. I hope you guys really enjoyed this one. Make sure you leave some comments, tell me what you thought. All right, everybody, that's all the time we have for this explore today. I hope you guys enjoyed coming on this adventure with me. I really enjoyed showing you this $16 million late 80s mansion that now has been abandoned for a little while and is obviously doomed to demolition. What a place to see with a lot of cool stuff left behind. I hope you guys enjoyed this adventure. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button and leave a comment after the episode. And before we go, I just want to remind you all, the next goal for the channel is to get to 5,000 subscribers, and I need all of your help to get there. If you have not hit that button, please hit that button, help the channel grow. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Click the subscribe button right there. Check out last week's video right there. Check out this random video up there, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.